Hi guys! <laughs> Hi guys! Welcome back to our channel. Hello. It's Jane and my grandma here. <laughs> Today we are going to cook Ghana jollof and I will make my Russian family try. We are in my grandparents house and my mom also came here. My sister and my mom every day they were asking me, Jane please when are you going to cook Ghana jollof? Okay, grandma also was asking. <laughs> now, the issue we have here today is that my granddad and my grandma, they cannot stand any spicy taste. Come on, man. My grandma and my sister, they love spicy food. Let's go. And grandma, right before this video, she's been chewing on her shito peppers. I think she found some marinated shito peppers, bakbo shito. And she was chewing them just like this. So my grandma is a hard woman, a hard girl. Okay. Lisa. <laughs> so today I'm going to cook half of jollof, spicy, hot, like real Ghana vibe. Don't think you have the facilities for that big man. And half of jollof is gonna be like quiet and subtle, no pepper vibes. <laughs> Let's go. The vibe back. What do we have here today? This is chestnut, garlic, perchuk, chili pepper, imbir, ginger, pomidor, tomato, ostri, hot chili pepper, tomato paste, instead of maggi cubes, we are using this one. Pomidor, another tomatoes, I think they are fresh ones, jasmine rice, and onions. <laughs> the most important our chicken legs. Right now we are soaking them in the water with apple cider vinegar. You can also soak it in the lemon water for at least one or two hours. So your chicken is gonna be very healthy, very tender, juicy, and your stomach will digest it very well. Good it's <laughs> Grandma is saying that we need to use paper towel to dry the chicken first. She says if you don't dry, that means you didn't even wash it. So the first step, we have to marinate our chicken and make chicken stock, chicken broth. So I'm going to marinate it with the chili pepper, ginger, garlic and onion. We are going to mix it all together, put it inside the chicken and then we can make the chicken stock. Okay. <laughs> My grandma is like this. I put it here. She's dropping this chicken. I put it. Oh my god! And me, I'm like, I'm going. I'm going. Oh my god! That's, that's hard. So right now, I'm trying to prepare marinade for my chicken that I'm going to put in the oven, which is going to be the same chicken that I'm using to prepare a stock. So I have one veggies, one part of ginger and garlic and onion for to boil it with the stock, and another one I want to blend it to put it on the chicken later on when the chicken is going to be half ready oh my god grandma is already putting everything on fire <laughs> she's putting everything on fire so i put my ginger guys this is not original recipe of jollof okay i'm doing what i did before in russia and yg let me tell you at first in the video where i'm cooking jollof he said that my jollof was 7 out of 10 the next day i cooked it again because he asked for that and the next day he said it was 8 out of 10 later on we came back from ghana yufi was laying down on the bed crying watching on his phone i'm like why are you crying what's going on he's like i'm craving for jollof and he's watching my video from russia when i cook jollof i'm like so what's wrong? Just go to the restaurant and order jollof. And he's like, no, I'm craving for yours. I want to eat yours so bad. But yeah, kriču i tak što djede pikče, ti s pikčetem pišla. Grandma, she likes to disturb people. Onions. Mom gets yeah. to the kitchen because she smells so flavor. Grandma is all over the place as always. Grandma chopped the onions too big. Grandma is crying because of the onions. My mom is the only person who doesn't cry from the onions. You should survive. 
Нормально, я что, как тебе подсуд на работе? Пожалуйста. Пожалуйста. Мам came to the kitchen and she was like, let me cut the onions. And now I'm like, okay, mom, cut half of the onions. She's like, what do you mean? Am I am I your worker or what? Ты знаешь, что я всегда рубаю крупно. Поэтому grandma is chopping like in three parts. Grandma Oh Lord. Again. Oh my god, it's so hard <laughs> to speak. Grandma is always chopping like big, big, huge pieces and my mom she's always small, small. Guys, you see I'm a chef on the kitchen. You know guys, I'm always I'm always confused. I'm always confused about the amount of onion to put inside. It's like Yuffie's mom is saying more onions, more delicious is this. So I'm always remembering about this and I'm always thinking that it's not enough, that I need to put more. But last time, probably because my stew was too thick and it was too much, my rice was not that dry. I'm crying because of the onion. <laughs> okay, our stock is ready. I have to sear it. I don't need all these onions and gingers going in my stock. I need just the water. I had to switch my pot with this one because this one is frying it fast. This one, all this. Grandma doesn't have faith in me. Every time when I cook, if you look at Grandma's face, she doesn't have faith at me cooking at all. She always thinks I'm doing some bullshit. <laughs> we'll let it fry a little bit and then we're gonna start adding our tomato paste, tomato sauces, because we need to make it extremely tomatoey. Extremely tomatoey. What? <laughs> because the color of jollof needs to be red, red, like red, extremely tomatoey. last time it was the fact that it was very tomato like when you eat rice you can really feel the tomato <laughs> I don't know if it's a good thing or bad thing but it's very addictive guys when it's like this it's very addictive look at YG he's literally keep sending me messages asking me how is Jolov going right now look five messages from YG he's, te he's telling me that he's jealous to everybody in this house because they're going to eat my Jolov and he cannot wait to come to me so I cook it for him also he didn't want any jollof in Ghana, he was asking me to cook it. I said, go and buy it. He was like, no, I want yours. And mine was very, very tomato -y. Literally eating like rice, which tastes like tomato. But last time, Yuffie's sister, when she was watching my video, she was looking at what I'm doing, the stew, and she was like, Jane, you didn't add the water? And I was like, no, mommy, I didn't add any water. She's like, this is the mistake you did. Let me add some water. Maybe I should add water later because this tomato is supposed to fry. Just keep it to cook. Hope it's not gonna jump around. Later on, we'll start spicing it. Right now, while the stew is getting ready, we are going to come back to our chicken legs, which were inside the stock. We need to make marinade for them. I don't know if it's necessary because they are kind of marinated already, but we want more. Here in blender, yeah, we have chili pepper, we have onion, garlic, and ginger. We are going to blend it all, and then we're going to put it inside the chicken legs. <laughs> Thank you. 
to be, but it's no box. Our jalofs are ready. This is not spicy. Yeah. Looking a bit pale. You see? The spicy one is looking much better. <laughs> My mom is going to try first. This is not spicy for her. I don't even know if I put enough salt <laughs> and other things. The vine. <laughs> ну нет, серьезно. Ты на камеру говоришь, как будто бы. Нет, ну в смысле, как тебе по вкусу реально? Вкусно? Да. Мне кажется, даже островато немножко. <laughs> ну, нормально, да? Но не остро. Ну, но ты можешь есть. She keeps eating. That's me she likes it. No. Соли не хватает. Да? Вот я тоже так подумала. Ба, тебе соли как? Мне хватает. А как вообще на вкус? Они не пробуем, когда африканские блюда. Угу. Мне кажется, вот они, ну, по крайней мере, как я представляю, так они на такой вкус и есть у них. Нет? Сестра говорит, что они не спайси. Она говорит, что они не спайси. Yeah, so he's going for round two. She wants more rice. Let's go, Ghana style. Everybody keeps eating jollof. Where did they say jollof is like crazy nice? <laughs> Finished it all. You must have done well,